Hello everyone, welcome to Good Morning Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. So just take what resonates with you. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, there might be a message here for you. Now let's try to see what is the message at the start of the day. We have here the Empress. Okay, you are highly creative right now. It makes me think of your um, second chakra, chakra number two. The chakra that is just below your navel. So right now, uh, it seems that your chakra number two is very active right now. Makes me feel that it's not blocked at this time. And so you are highly creative at this time. Many of you are highly fertile also at this time. Highly fertile at this time. So the chances of having a child is quite high for some. But at this time, your creative power is very, very strong. So um, when you look at it here, the Queen of Wands is very much in touch with the stars. Her crown is... A crown of stars so it seems that you are highly intuitive at this time and you're very much in touch with your inner world at the same time the queen the empress knows how to nurture herself she is sitting on a very comfortable cushion and it seems that for some of you taking a break is a very good time for you at this this is a very good time for you to take a break you see the empress she went on a picnic so for some of you going on a break going closer to nature maybe leaving the living away leaving the madding crowds for a while will be beneficial for you now uh, something about the cycles of the moon and developing your feminine energy whether you're a male or a female all of us have feminine energies. At this time, it seems that this card shows that you are, your feminine energy is very, very active at this moment. And you are highly creative at this time. But at the same time, you have good boundaries. You, uh, you, you prefer to spend more time on your own. Now, how will this further unfold? For some of you, you will be leaving behind certain, I don't know, it comes to me. Some of you will be leaving behind certain relationships. But you're going to get things, your affairs in order before you leave it behind. It seems that for some of you, you will have to really travel in a physical way. You really need to go to another place. For some of you, it's really change of. A residence I feel it is related to the Empress card it is something that is uh, less cosmopolitan that's what is coming to me right now it's like right now you are in a city setting and somehow this is a little less cosmopolitan the place that you're going will be a little less cosmopolitan as your present situation it's still filled with mystery, but the mystery is something that attracts you. The chapter is still full of mystery, and you revel in the knowledge that you still are not sure of what will happen. The mystery draws you even closer to this inspiration or whatever this decision you have made. And so for some of you, you are truly leaving behind certain things. For some of you, you have already decided to move on to something new. And right now you are busy getting things into order before leaving. So there is a sense of maturity on your part because you are not just going to leave things behind. You are trying to arrange things before leaving so it might take some time but you are determined already you are preparing yourself for the journey but at the same time also 
getting things into order before going on to the journey. So for some of you, it might take some time, but I think you are handling the situation very maturely. Now, what is the advice of the universe for you? You will be going to be a little bit busy, but somehow, because you already know where you are going, you will be able to be at peace, just like the King of Pentacles. He is holding the pentacle. You are holding on to your dream. Now, going to that dream, the, the preparing of things that you are going to leave behind and preparing for the journey, it's going to make you very busy. And you're going to be very, very busy and productive at this time. I think the things that you will leave behind, you will leave it prosperous. You know, what I mean is uh, uh, you are not just going to leave it behind and just let it fall uh, fall into pieces. No. I think before you leave, you're going to make a significant contribution. For some of you, maybe you're even going to leave behind a legacy. So it's not just leaving behind the situation, whether it's a working situation or a relationship you're going to make things better for those that you are going to leave behind. So you will be handling it in a mature way, just like the King of Pentacles, and you're doing it in a peaceful way. You are at peace, knowing that you are not just leaving other people hanging. You are making sure that things are in order before you go. Now you're going to be a little bit busy, so don't forget to nurture yourself just like the Empress. I think you will have to balance between the King of Pentacles and the Empress. The King of Pent Pentacles is busy getting things into order. So you see here, here there are a lot of clutter around him. He's putting things into order before he leaves. And at the same time, he's also preparing the things that he needs for the journey. But at the same time, you need to balance it with the Empress. As you do these things, nurture yourself also. Enjoy also the process of this transition. Enjoy also the sense of mystery. Listen to your intuition so that things will be easier for you as you make this transition. And also be creative. Now, don't worry. Things will. I feel things will turn out to be just fine. And I think... Uh, the people that you will be leaving behind, whether it's a work situation or a relationship, will appreciate you. They know that you cared and you made sure that things will be in order before you make the transition, before you make the journey to a new chapter in your life. So try to see how this resonates with you. Now let's go to the self-care. For our self-care tip, we have here the Earth Blessings Oracle Cards. So, let's see what the Oracle Cards has for us for today. Okay. The card for today is Memory. May you hold the past tightly okay so uh, yeah I think you have good memories and I think when you leave you're going to leave behind good memories because you're getting things into order people will appreciate more because you are able to um, be responsible enough to get things into order before you're leaving behind. Let me look at this a little bit alone. Ah, okay, I made a mistake. May you hold the past lightly. Okay, not tightly. <laughs> so there's a big difference between that. You see here, uh, it says here, may you hold the past lightly, not tightly, but lightly. Okay, uh, so um, I'm not sure, or it's not very clear. 
but anyway uh, it says here L I G H T L Y okay so lightly so in a certain sense um, learning to detach I feel the message is to learn to detach yourself from the past so uh, learning to let go moving forward but at the same time also I think people will also learn to let you go because of this responsi responsible way you are handling your living you are handling your transition so somehow uh, you for some of you you really need to go already to let go so uh, may you be able to slowly let go of the past and receive the new gift of a promising new chapter now uh, there will be memories but the challenge for us is to create good memories and I think as long as you get your affairs in order you will leave behind good memories well that's it for today I hope that this reading has helped you at this time thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel thank you for subscribing I hope to see you again soon until that time may God continue to bless your ways.